Hey guys, Prince of Macedon here. I joined this eight-player free-for-all squad resolution, and it's a barbarian battle only. Um, but you're gonna see, uh, there aren't that many uh, barbarian factions to begin with, unless you go by the Roman definition of barbarian, in which case everybody will be a barbarian. So the last guy opted to be Numidia, because that was the only faction left. So we're gonna start the deployment. I'm next to the to Gaul and the uh, Dacians, it looks like. Wait, is that Dacia? Oh, I can't tell. Maybe it is, I don't know. I feel like I should deploy against Gaul. Let's try that. Let's keep one let's keep my general out in the open. Get these guys formed this way. Oh, you can see it's normal scale. Let's hide my cavalry. Let's hide them up here. Cool. So yeah, here is the uh, the overhead here, and uh, for my for the free for alls, I like using the live commentary footage. Like I'll still do um, commentaries from the replay, but with uh, free for alls where there's eight people, I think the live commentary is so much better using the live footage because when you use the live footage, you can see what everyone's saying, and you can see. Just what kind of uh, like uh, like situations I'm in, like as I'm actually doing it. Because if I just show you the replay, you're not gonna see, you know, my, my tactical mindset. I I can try to explain it to you, but it's better when you see me doing it live, like this. And of course, all the conversations going on are very are very important for the uh, free for all situation. So you can see all the politics going on. The trash talking. And also, I don't think they have the uh, the mini maps in the replays for Rome 1, I don't think. So, I think this is so much more effective, in my opinion. But yeah, um, I'm still gonna use uh, commentaries from the replays as well, but I just think it's so much easier. So, we're still waiting here. Who are we waiting on? I have a theory who. See, number five. Ooh, I'm actually waiting for Sir Bob. Alright, he's way over here. The Greek city state player. I could fight this guy too. This guy's right out here in the corner. He has the Numidians next to him. Here's the Numidian army of Sashif. This guy was causing issues at the beginning because he was... First he, was, he picked the Greek city stage, which obviously are not barbarians. And then he kept switching factions to, peop to factions that were already in use from other players, so that was annoying. But whatever. I might march on, on these guys. They're, they're the closest to me. So this is the host, the Eisenfresser. I believe in German that means you the Iron Eater. The enemy general. Now his men show fear. Now they may turn and run. Attack! Attack! So, <laughs> oh my gosh, a Britain player just threw away his chariots. I mean, if you have the chariots, man, use them properly. Oh man, I made him a tactical mistake. Deploying that close to the uh, Gallic lines because Gal Gaul is so far. I'm far from everybody here. My closest opponent are the Dacians. All right, he's gonna turn back and march towards me. That's good. I'm I am so screwed right now though. Everyone's in a fight. In a squared resolution, you want to be in a fight. You don't want to be sitting out. I am on the move, but yeah. Oh, these guys aren't, aren't fighting anybody. The Scythians? They got the Thracians next to them. Now, that is a that is a historical matchup. Thrace versus Scythia. That's pretty exciting. I could have copped out and used Thrace. Like, I think they're pretty good at destroying barbarian factions. But in this game, they're more Hellenistic than they are barbarian. But at this point... The uh, 
the Diodachi have already uh, established themselves in Thrace, making them a mix of barbarian and also uh, Hellenistic culture. So let's go ahead and put my cavalry back here. Don't want to come from the low ground here. Let's divide up my, my troops. Or loosen them up, I mean. <clears throat> so here's the host army. He's got a lot of these uh, chosen archers, like the ones I have too. So I need to neutralize those archers. Oh man, I, I wish I, could, I wish um, this game had a uh, a meter showing just how many kills were were occurring. The enemy at the flee from the field like frightened goats. Hunt them down and slay them all. All right, we're both climbing for high ground now. Wow, I'm shooting already. Hopefully I'm shooting at the archers. No, I'm not. Ah, chips. Looks like someone's dead already. That's not good at all. Well, we're gonna take out this cavalry. Ooh, we can take out that general too. That'll rob him of morale. Enemy warlord lies dead. Now nice. he can drink with his ancestors and watch his warriors flee. I just turned on skirmish mode. What's whack these archers now? At the moment, I'm also killing his uh, swordsmen with my archers. Look at my archers just getting all these free shots on his uh, swordsmen. It's awesome. I can just dash down on them, save my archers, save my missile fire. Why not? I got a unit routing. It's all happening in slow motion right now. So yeah, I'm I'm, I'm conserving my, my missiles for whoever's next. Let's make some kills here. My guys are tired already. They should have something left because it didn't say he's dead yet. Alright, let's rest my guys up. There we go, cool. Well, nothing to do with the gothic cavalry around. Units. Units. Units 
All right, so let's look at let's look what's going on here. I need to see what's happening. Oh, Spain's coming down. Ooh, that looks like a rough army. These guys haven't been touched yet. Ooh, that looks pretty rough too. All headhunting maidens. It might be wise here to uh, take out the uh, Gauls. Oh man, how am I gonna fight that? But what I do need is a high ground against that army. And I need to rest my guys up. I'm gonna let him come to me. I can rest my troops. The warlord of the enemy army is running like a startled goat. Hunt him, goat. Let's do so. While he's the enemy warlord lies dead. Now he can drink with Don't his my guys right now. and watch his warriors flee. That way, he uh, by the time he gets over here, he won't remember where my tr where my troops were hidden. So let's go see what's going on here. This is the big cluster F right here. I don't know how Gaul managed this because this guy has so many um, skirmishers. He should have been able to fight the Gauls. I guess the Gauls is Russian. Beat the crap out of. Oh yeah, it's just pure swords. Well, there's some 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 cav and some missiles there. Oh man, okay. The reason why he didn't go in there and charge his archers is because Scythia is right there. So that was actually a wise move by the Gaul player. Because yeah, you might be tempted to kill all those archers. Very tempting indeed. But if you do so, you will be destroyed by these Scythians. These headhunting maidens can take. Wait, where are they at? I thought he had maidens. Yeah, there they are. And they can pretty much knock out any bit of cav. I think Gaul's gonna come towards me now. So I'm gonna get sandwiched here. Oh yeah, I can't have my general. Here comes uh Spain. Man, the Gauls gonna march right on me though. I might have to scoot away from this mess. The enemy flee from the field like frightened goats. Hunt them down and slay them all. The race is unengaged right now because the Scythians ran away from them. They wanted these easy kills here. Oh, this blows. See what's happening right now? Gaul's marching towards me. Oh, he's gonna have the high ground. I mean, if I pull back, then that'll put me closer to Gaul. Which would suck. Let's pull back over here. I'm gonna rest up my cavalry a little bit more. I'm not gonna even move them. What do we got here? These guys are gonna be rough. See, I, I could take them, but not with Spain right there. Yeah, I don't think my archers would be effective shooting over this. So I'm gonna pull back a little bit more.
See what's happening? This is this is Gaul coming at me. Because he wanted to run away from the Scythians. and my cavalry can take out some of these uh, slingers. What kind of horses does he have? It's like uh, long shields? Yeah, given my, my uh, tactical situation, I might have to stay up here. Which means I'm not getting kills right now. But at the same time, I need a good spot to fight off Gaul and Spain. Hopefully Gaul stays out of it. If he does, I, I have a shot at beating uh, beating Spain. But let's see though. He's probably going to scout. Oh, he's a responsible commander. Cavalry is in loose formation. Looks like. See how close he's getting to my, to my cavalry. Yeah, he's looking for him. Right. I'm gonna bum rush one of these units here. Maybe multiple cavalry. units. Right. Yes, <laughs> he, he he bit into it. Nice! That's what you get for coming into Germania. He's not running away. I'm surprised. Here comes more cavalry. Wow, he does not. He's pretty brave. What is that? That's a long. That's a gen. That's his general right there. I gotta pull away from those slingers. Yeah, he knew what he was doing. I'm still getting shot. Well, I'm glad I neutralized uh, at least three of them. I was walked. I don't want to ruin my energy right now. So the good thing is, yeah, I, I, I took away most of his mobility. He still has a lot of slingers, though. Let's turn on my missiles now. Let's slide over just a little bit more. Make sure I, I can get him. He's trying to sneak around me. So Gaul is still standing still. I'm I'm grateful for that. Very grateful that he's not gonna try to hit me from behind. <laughs> Scythia, you giant bleep. Yeah, basically Scythia ran away from uh, the Thracians. So the Thracians have to chase him around. And then Sissy only took on those uh, archers. So Sissy has a lot of kills, but he only did so because he took advantage of the fact that the Gauls already uh, mauled them. So that's pretty easy pickings for them. I'm gonna skip my guys up. Ah, oh, see that? If he stays right there, he's gonna have the, that hill right there. I think I can outrange the slingers though. I'm, I'm gonna try to move up. And I wanna hide my cavalry again. So he forgets where they are.
He was really confident about his cavalry to take on my, my gothic head. I know Daisha's around here somewhere. He's down here, actually. I see his... His arrow. It's right over here. Let's try this. Oh, it's right there! Yeah, that, that one guy on my channel taught me that. I'm surprised. I haven't... I thought I had to learn everything about Realm Total War, but... Yeah, there's a hidden unit right here, apparently. I'm holding down my scroll mouse. Not that much of a hill. Here comes his cavalry. <laughs> Good luck surviving the, the storm here. He won't make it. My my ar my archers will drop him like he's hot. Watch this. I won't even I won't even need my cavalry to get over there. Oh man, I hit none of them really. Oh wait, wait, I think I hit one of them. And now he's down to 11. He's still in range. He needs to pull back more. He underestimates the range of my gothic. I mean, my uh, chosen archers. Let's pull up even more. Not so confident of the troops anymore, is he? He was the guy saying, who's next? After uh, the Britons suicided themselves against uh, his position on top of the hill. So this guy's... He's established himself using the hill as a, as a tactical edge. Hill camping. So he does not want to get off his hill. But I'm going to make sure he does get off. If he doesn't, he's going to get shot to death. I'll make sure of that. This might be too close to his slingers. But if his slingers start firing, then then they'll be revealed. So it's... I can't fail here. There they are. They're the slingers. Flees from our warriors. Attack and drive them back in the same way. You have killed the enemy general. Now his men show fear. What I'm doing now right now, I'm going after his archers. Attack, attack. His slinger, sorry. Now I'm gonna use my archers. Concentrated fire on his bull warriors. Nice! Should I do it to him? Next! So I'm focusing fire on these uh, bull warriors right here. They have hit points, so it's going to be a little bit more difficult. Now I can just shower him with archers.
Look at these slingers, they have no no cover. They're gonna route immediately. Very nice. Alright, those guys are gone. Can't really help camp effectively with slingers, can you? I mean, you could, but not in this situation. Some slingers came back from routing. Gotta take him out. The enemy warlord is dead, slain by your brave warriors. So I'm keeping an eye out on Gaul. Now I need to scout those uh, boars out again. Make sure that they uh, are spotted by my missiles. What is that? I hear someone charging. Where's that coming from? Alright, where's my general? I had a unit right here. Here you are. So we're going to uncover these bull warriors and we're going to shoot them to death. So I can use this unit to scout them out. Man, my gothic cab got tired really quickly, huh? Alright, there they are. Let's kill them. I have to look out for their javelins. Oh, it shots from behind! That should bring him down quickly. Hopefully. He's gonna charge. Somewhere. I'm not doing any damage to him. I could probably just kill him. I could probably take him. Let's keep an eye on these guys. I'm, I'm just gonna charge in. Who is not tired? These guys are not tired. I'm gonna throw it to charge him. That'll turn him around. Definitely stop him from running. There you go, see? That'll give me time to bring out my archers. Who can actually fight pretty decently in hand-to-hand -hand combat. Here come my arches. I'll use up whatever missiles I have left before I before I do this. He can run, it'll make him tired faster. Get up there, guys. See that? All that running is going to make him real tired. They are very tired. That is not good for him.
I'm a little disturbed I can't find my cavalry right now. <laughs> I mean, I can look, but I'm not going to. Well, I could. Whatever. This guy's way over here. Run, my friend. Run! Let's see how the other fight's going on. This is a big mess. Look at that! Oh man, I think Scythia's gonna... They might win if they beat the Thracians. I should advise this guy just to box it up. Alright, so my guys are shooting now with their missiles. Keep running, dude. Run, you runner! So my guys are very tired, which means his guys must be super tired. In this case, exhausted. So what I'm doing, I'm gonna send up my cavalry. The ones who can actually run faster ahead to stop him from running. Well, I'm getting close to the Dacians. Here they are. Let's kill this guy. Get him off the battlefield. He's shooting at me, so why not? That unit's exhausted. This is no longer a battle, this is a hunt. No. All right. A coward chase. That guy's dead. That's a lot of upgrades on these bull warriors here. What, gold gold, I'm, ass I'm assuming? They're exhausted though, so they shouldn't last too long. He sacrificed that unit so the rest of his guys can get away. Whack. Winded, nice. So how are we doing up here? I have to worry about Scythia getting all these kills here. These guys killed so much. Although Gaul's still here. I don't how much of the Gaul fight? I forgot. I wasn't watching. I, I think Gaul did fight. When that when the Thracians and Scythians were mixing it up. Hey Scythia, your mom. Wait, the Spanish player said that. This guy? Why would he say that? Am I on top of Scythia again? Oh, there's Scythia right there. Oh man, I wish I saved my missiles for Scythia. This guy's just gonna give kills to Scythia here. I need to take him out before Scythia does. I need these kills. So Gaul still has this unit. Is that is that all he has? I, I don't know if he's hiding units or not. Yeah, he is. Yeah, he is. Yep. So these are all maidens. These are the kind of units that can annihilate my uh, my gothic cab who are heavily armored. I want to fast forward here.
So I'm hot on this guy's tracks. Am I still tired? I'm gonna switch these guys to. I'm gonna turn off their missiles. I wanna save the. Save for Scythia. I'm gonna take a long run here. Alright, good, they're wounded now. This guy did too much running. He's probably gonna get destroyed when I charge into him. I should try it. Let's see what happens. He might not be expecting it. I need to buy my army some time. They are exhausted. So 13 Gothic Cav versus these guys who are trying to run away. He has to stand his ground. <laughs> look, look at them running in slow motion. It's like they're standing in quicksand. Oh, he's going to win this. I had to chance it. Great, now I'm seriously screwed against Scythia. It was worth the risk. What does Thrace have left? Thrace has all this left. Looks like Scythia's just running away. Oh crap, my unit's going all the way out there. Tired? Come on, guys. Freaking out of shape. Someone's coming down this way. Who is it? It's, it's Gaul. I'm gonna put myself between Gaul and and Spain. That guy should not be fighting with two horses. Gaul's gonna try to get in there, but I'm gonna stop that. Same time, like, archers are coming up really fast. <laughs> Good luck with this, my friend. He's trying to run, but you can't run that fast when you're. Chugging all that armor with you. Better watch your back, Spain. Someone's engaged. Looks like Scythia and. Aha! 
Scythians are way up there. Yes! I'm being shot by Scythia right now. This is no longer a battle, this is a hunt. No, a coward chase. So, Scythia is getting goaded away from Thrace. I can shoot some of these Scythians. He's gonna actually come down at me. Do it, my friend. Standard ground. Take that as many as I can. My general. Your general is in his grave. It would have been better. Man, to I just gave Sidney kills her. Ancestors. Oh, we got some kills. Sweet. have turned to water! They are running from the battle! Stop running, Scythia! Put Phalanx up, guys. Some progress picks, but not looking good. I should have, um, well, I didn't have a choice. I, th I couldn't run away from Scythia, they were too mobile. But if there was a way I could have uh, let Thrace kill me instead of Scythia, that would have been great because Scythia has all these kills now. But granted, a lot of those kills came from archers. Like the Numidian archers and whatnot. So, this would be like my last battle where the guy was kind of just a purposely avoiding battle so he can kill, uh, you know, lower grade units like archers from behind. Thrace has been chasing around Scythia the entire time. Man, this guy's really annoying me now. Okay, well, there's Gaul. What is 
is this? Oh man, Gil has way more units than I thought. I should encourage Gaul to fight the race. Because now Scythia. These guys should be exhausted. They're very tired, okay. Whereas the Gaul troops should be fresh, yeah. They might be able to take these uh, Scythians on because of the fatigue. Yeah, there you go. Army is running like a startled goat. Hunt it. The enemy army runs. Now hunt them down. Yeah, all that running made those units really tired. So these swordsmen, they just clean them up. You call that a good game? That's the Scythian player say, said GG. I mean, I guess that is a legitimate strategy, but running away from the fight and only fighting people when they're when they're weak, that's you might call that smart, but this is a game, this isn't real life, this is a game. And right now you're just dragging the game out. And not showing much uh gamesmanship here. Like this poor guy, he had no opponent because Cynthia kept running away from him. Uh, this guy should box up because, well, Gaul could have hit him from multiple sides. Oh, he's coming right from the front where the pikes are actually strong. Man, should have came from the wings, man. You could have taken these pikes out. He's not even using his cow- his cavalry is sitting there. What? These guys are exhausted. Because these guys are exhausted, they might instantly route when they get hit. Watch this. Oh, this could be great. Whack! Yep, yeah, see that? Instant route. You can't see the flags anymore, unfortunately. For whatever reason. So Gauls can have a lot of kills too. Gauls, Scythia, and myself will have tons of kills. This is going to be very interesting to see what happens here. I hope I lose so people will shut up about going, show your losses. Well, when I lose, I can show a loss. He can still use his cavalry to chase those units down. He needs those kills. The 
enemy flee from the field like frightened goats, hunt them down, and slay them all. You got these units still running? I bet you anything, if you send his cavalry now, he could still catch up to him. Because these guys are taking the long way off the field. Look at that. All that distance. Oh my gosh. I think he's he's just gonna let them off the field. Yeah, there's no movement from Gaul. Get it from behind, man. Oh, now he's moving. Might be too late now. Had to be a few seconds. Well, he might still be able to catch him. Yeah, that cover's moving really fast. You can see on the mini map. Yeah, look at this long freaking route that he that the pikemen are taking. And here comes the cavalry. I see him. They're right there. Yeah. He's going to get these guys. Stop chasing him. There we go. There's one more. Pretty sweet ending, I think. There we go, finally. Let's see the news. Oh, yes! Oh! I am surprised by that. I mean, I thought those guys killed more than I did. I didn't realize I had that many kills. Oh, man, that was very awesome. I really thought I was going to lose that one. And then I could have showed a loss finally. Oh well. Anyways, let's save this. Call it 13. Barbarian.